Hello, hello, this is Kevin Comer, and welcome to episode 16 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft. It's been uh, too long since my last episode. I'm sorry for that, but um, I couldn't really help it. Uh, I won't really get into that, but, you know, hopefully I can be back with a normal schedule. Um, I know I've said that before, but... Hopefully I mean it this time. So I came out uh, to the end portal. You saw, I think you saw the hole over there where we dug down into the uh, into the stronghold. And I came out here because I knew this clay. Yeah, I knew that there was a uh, swamp out here. So I came to get some clay. Uh, just need a lot more bricks for the Venice project. So, I'm going to dig up a whole bunch of that, and, um, yeah, I think we'll probably be doing some more work on that today, um, have some ideas for what I want to do with it, and, yeah, it's not always so easy to tell the difference between clay and sand, eh? Well, we should be able to get a lot from this, uh, this swamp here, um, this... What about this? That also clay. Okay. Whew. I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit colorblind, <laughs> so can't quite tell the difference. Okay. Well, that looks a lot different, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. I think I'll pretty much just try to dig this swamp clean, and then I'll go home and we'll cook it up, and then we can start doing some more building. Um, I think I still have enough sandstone, but even if I don't, easy enough to head over to my, um, my, what's this, sand, easy enough to head over to my desert, grab some more, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna collect as much as I can find here, and then I'll see you back at the Venice build. Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, pretty full inventory of clay balls. That's enough for now, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I wish I had a, uh, a silk touch shovel for this because, um, you know, you can hold a lot more even though then you'd have to dig it a second time to get to the balls to cook them. Um, yeah, I think you'd need to break them down before you could cook them into bricks, but, um, you know, I would be able to carry a lot more back with me, but I think this should give us a pretty good start. Now, all I have to do is find my way back to the uh, the end portal, the stronghold, um, which, you know, I didn't... Okay, well, that was lucky. <laughs> I didn't put any sort of marker down here. Um, I could have been wandering a while, but... It all worked out fine. Okay, so I am going to um, jump into the end here. And uh, it should take me right back home if I, uh, if I jump through the other portal. Just be careful not to look at any dudes here. Right, I think this is how it works. Last bed I slept in was at my home base. Ah, and here we are. Perfect. Okay, so that's a pretty good place to get uh, clay balls. So I will... Oh, hmm. I will start uh, cooking these into bricks. And when we got that done, um, we'll get to some building. Well, it looks like we're done cooking up our clay. Um, got lots of bricks to work with now. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll subject you to me removing all of these from the uh, the furnaces. Didn't take too long, but um, when I have a lot of stuff to cook like this, I usually bust out my auxiliary furnaces. Oh, it's nighttime. Take a quick sleep. Yeah, I bust out my auxiliary furnaces. I have, uh, you know, like 22 extra furnaces that I can just, um, 
pop out so I just threw them up on the outside here and I didn't even need them all so yeah but um, I'm hoping <laughs> this amount of brick lasts a good long while uh, for building that it took Jeez, I can't even remember how many stacks of uh, of brick, um, and then you know, of course, multiply that by four for clay balls. Um, just a, a big, big job. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, did I get it all? Oh, a little bit more. I think that's all of it. So I can just do it right here, right? Yes. Okay. And of course, once I get all this done, it'll look like I got nothing. But um, let's take a look over here. Uh, so this is where we left it off. Uh, somebody commented about the iron bars. Um, I like them in places like this here. I like that. Um, I like it on the bridge. Um, I guess I even like it at the top, but I don't like those half slabs up there, so I think I'm going to get rid of those probably. Uh, this building, got to take it up higher. This one, obviously, quite a bit higher. Um, you know, I've been thinking, how high should the highest building be in comparison to the bell tower here? And, uh, well, I don't have a good answer to that, but I'm thinking probably four stories, so... Um, you know, I'm not even sure if this is a three or four story, you know, it's got ground floor, second floor, and then this can either be one floor or two floors at the top here. But I'm thinking maybe we should go higher than this, maybe with this building on the end here. Um, so yeah, we might do that. And then, of course, there's filling the canals, which um, I think I'm going to wait for the next update the official release of the redstone update so that um, you know I can do it with uh, with water buckets instead of having to lay down you know layer of ice and then um, well I guess I'd have to lay down like I'd have to fill them pretty much completely with ice and then break it starting at the top something like that I really don't want to do that <laughs> that would be a lot of ice a lot of ice and then, okay, yeah, so of course we got three buildings to work on here, and maybe this one should be pretty tall too, because it's the closest one to the uh, to the bell tower there. Um, so we'll figure some of that out. Uh, and then maybe even today I might move um, a couple villagers, a couple villagers over from the village to here if we get a building that is complete enough for them to live in. I think that could be neat. And yeah, whew, once you get it all cooked up, oh man, it doesn't seem like I got very much. Um, <laughs> so we're probably going to be using a lot of sandstone. Uh, you know, maybe every one out of every three buildings might have some brick on it, but yeah. Uh, which is fine. I mean, that's pretty accurate to the way Venice actually looks, but, you know, I, I don't want to have to be uh, harvesting brick or go, go harvest clay for, uh, you know, hours upon hours just for uh, this aesthetic build. Um, I already had my fill of that. Uh, and let's see. So we have a canal that heads out to the sea here and I think I said I was gonna put buildings over here so yeah I think that's still the plan um, once we get these buildings up we'll probably have a canal that runs behind them out to this I don't know what would you call that a lagoon it's not really a bay it's too uh, too closed off you know we got actually does it even connect to the ocean over here I don't think it does so yeah this is I guess kind of a nice lagoon area. Might have to do something with that in the future. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess I'll get some building done off camera and then we'll take a look at it. So I'll be back. Okay, uh, here's just a little update of what I've been working on. Um, I'm not gonna go too 
uh, overboard with the interior decorating in these places. Uh, I think that'd just be too much work um, for how much it'll be seen and used. But uh, I'm going to try to make them functional for villagers. And you know, I don't know if these front doors will work because we're looking at one, two, three. Well, some of them might work. Um, but, you know, we're going to have this back alley here, which, you know, I've partitioned off these doors so you can't see all of them. Um, just kind of a little half wall here. And we're going to have a back alley out here uh, for all the buildings along this side and all the buildings on this side. So we're probably just going to go, you know, like three wide with that, I think. Um, and, you know, it would probably be even closed off on the ends with a little wall or something just uh, to keep everything contained but yeah so we're gonna go with this back alley and it'll have a lot of doors opening onto it um, you know so we can have a nice bustling little town here um, and you know I'm hoping that uh, the village um, mechanic will extend whoops will extend far enough that, um, yeah, I think three wide works. You know, we have a little overhang here, we might have a little overhang here. Um, I'm hoping the village mechanic extends far enough so we can cover all the buildings on this row. And hopefully at least all the buildings along there. Um, but we won't know till we try. Uh, so yeah, let's go back inside. Oh, can't sprint. Let's go back inside over here. So we have for sure at least one, two, three, four, five, six doors that work on the bottom floor. And then on the top floor, we just got a line of doors opening onto, I guess, little balconies. And yeah, you can't, uh, can't jump over, but I think these still function as doors. So yeah, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more. Um, you know, just nice little staircase, probably go with, um, go with a lot of, uh, a lot of oak in, uh, in this interior, interior of these builds, a lot of, uh, yeah, just oak wood, um, sandstone, exposed brick. Uh, like I said, we're not going too overboard, you know, we'll have torches, um, that sort of thing. So, I got one more floor to build, and I am starting to run out of sandstone. Um, yeah, we're getting pretty low here. Uh, I still got a bunch back in the, um, the construction office here, so I will reload here. Um, and you guys can tell me what you think of what I got going on for the interior there. Like I said, it's going to be, you know, very utilitarian. Um, pretty plain you know it's mostly for the exterior looks which I think is coming you know on the outside on this side it's a little more plain which I think works fine for uh, something that's not gonna be on the main the main drag um, so a little more plain here uh, so yeah for exterior looks and for villagers so I think we're uh, we're coming along here floor in here uh, not really too sure. Have to figure that out. Um, hmm, let's see what would look good in here. I mean, most of the floor is going to be sandstone on the, uh, the higher levels. Sandstone, yeah, probably sandstone for just about everything, but, um, doesn't mean we can't make the main floor maybe look just a little bit nicer. Um, so I don't know, maybe we can do a nice wood floor or something in here. Some sort of tile pattern, something like that. Uh, so maybe I'll whip something together and we'll see what we, uh, what we have there. And um, I'll continue working on some more upper floors. We'll grab some torches so we don't get this place blown up. And I'll be back in a little while. Okay, well, uh, I think I've pretty much got one building 
completely polished off and finished. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Um, so when I left you last time, I was talking about flooring, but, um, you know, I just went and did pretty much the rest of the work on it. I guess I could probably... Hmm. Um, I'm not sure if I should wrap any accents around the side or not. Um, right up at the top there, we'll figure that out after. But, uh, you know, we have these ledges wrapping around and... Yeah, I think that looks okay. Uh, this one stops short. Also think that looks okay. So you can see on the back on the outside, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 doors. That's a window. Uh, so that should give us some good uh, stuff for villagers. So that's good. Um, uh, you know, I'm not... Mm, I'm not sure how if I'm happy with the back yet, but um, you know, once we have a building just a couple blocks away on the other side of the alley, uh, it might be okay the way it is. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, but I think it could be all right. Uh, it got rid of the half slabs at the top there, um, and. Uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. So, did this flooring pattern uh, just on the ground floor. I think it looks pretty neat. Um, I think you might refer to this as a parquet flooring pattern. Not 100% sure on that, but um, yeah, it's cool. You know, we have, uh, I think I showed off this pattern before. You know, you have two different colors of uh, two by twos, and then in each corner, you just put in a third color and it just forms this neat pattern and I think it looks pretty good um, so yeah still rather austere on the main floor second floor much the same it's a it's an empty studio apartment you might say so yeah um, it looks good uh, staircases are nice and functional third floor same thing pretty empty um, Got just a little ceiling detail, and that was so that I could hide some torches up on the roof here. So we got, uh, yeah, some hidden torches along the edge. Um, hmm, I think, I kind of feel like I do need to complete the pattern with, like, uh, putting one here. Um, maybe we can get rid of, rid of this little detail I had, kind of like, you know, um, a, uh, what would you say? It's like, um, a ladder well, but maybe we don't need that. And we can go right here as well. And got rid of my torches. Hmm, that might be better. Uh, especially since I can then do this. Ran out of half slabs. Um, which I didn't need to use for that anyways. Okay, we might do that instead. Yeah, I think that looks all right. So it just provides a little um, ambient lighting up here at the top, which, you know, I might be able to show it to you at night if uh, the sun goes down pretty soon here. But I think that uh, this is coming out well. Uh, the only problem is these buildings are taking a fair amount of time to build each one. Uh, this one, I don't know. An hour and a bit, uh, including collecting some materials. I guess that's not so terrible. Um, but yeah, I think for the rest of this episode, okay, yeah, we might wait till it's dark. I might work on uh, getting a villager or two over here. Uh, we'll probably grab them from the village and not from the nether because I kind of like those guys where they are. The ones that are uh, trapped there. Um, <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of funny to me. So let's see. What do I need? Ooh, I'm all full up of junk here. I'll just dump some stuff off in my... Uh, well, I should keep that in my chest that I've been using for my materials for working on this project. Uh, good enough. And... Um, I might need a little bit of rail and a minecart. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I have. 
Um, hmm, where are my minecarts? Who knows? I'll just make a couple new ones. Is that? Yeah, that's enough. Actually, it's one too many. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm really uh, strongly considering um, making an iron golem farm, and uh, very soon, what with uh, you know hoppers coming out and requiring a lot of iron. Um, is the sun gonna go down or what? Hoppers requiring a lot of iron, and I want to do a lot of stuff with hoppers, so therefore I need a lot of iron. Um, yeah, looks good on that side, just a little plain wall. Don't need to, you know, detail everything. The front is obviously the most important here. Um, hmm. Yeah, come on, get dark. I want to show this. Let's see what... It's got to be close. We got the moon coming up yet? Yes, it's getting there, it's getting there. Maybe I'll turn down my uh, brightness a little bit here. Yeah, I'll crank it way down so we can see what this all looks like at night. Uh, I don't even know how people play on a brightness like this. As soon as I get into somewhere that isn't lit, I can't see, like, at all. I can't see anything. Everything is just black. Yes. Yes, this is nice. I like this. It's not even pitch black yet, but yeah, you can see it's doing something for me. Um, go around the side just a little bit here. Yeah, that's nice. I like that building. I'm going to take a look at it from inside the bell tower. Real quick, get up somewhere higher. Why did I jump up on top of here? I don't need to be here. And then, uh, the last thing we'll do in the episode, like I said, is we'll grab two villagers and get them living in there and hopefully they make it. Ooh, this place is kind of moody with the lighting on, well, 25%. <laughs> Actually, I'll crank it. Ah, no, we'll leave it on this brightness until we can see what it looks like from the top. Yeah, you can see even in here, like, 25%, you really can't make anything out. It's very, uh, very dark. Um, so yeah, let's take a look from above, because we will be seeing these things from up high. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. That lighting at the top, uh, I think that really does something for it. So... I think we will call that building good and we'll move in our first residence. So I will be back when I'm ready to do that. You guys want to go on a European vacation to Venice? Beautiful Venice? Sorry, you can't. Well, it seems like I somehow pushed a couple too many through the portal, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, we got one guy. Go all the way around him here. Um, I guess we'll lay out. Oh, where are you going? Don't go that way. Uh huh. Connect. Okay, that should work. You. I want you to go back the way you came. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, where'd you go? Where the hell did he go? Ah. Okay. This way. This way, this way, this way. There we go. Okay. Get out. And don't stand in the damn corner. You guys are impossible to get out of the corner. Let's go. Through the portal to your beautiful new home. It's much better than Dirt Palace over there. 
All right, you look like our next candidate. Stop it. Where are you going? Where, where the hell did he go? Did, oh geez. Okay, well he's not coming. Sorry guy, you've doomed yourself. You, yes, you. You, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why do you want to go down there? All right, you. You're the one. Yes, you're going to go the wrong way. Of course. Turn around. Turn around. Not in there. You guys are such pain. Oh my god. Lost my damn cart. Huh. We'll get him there, guys. We'll get him. Okay, got my cart back. In the ground. Back into the portal. <laughs> we got one left to work with, I think. One left. And where is he gone? He's gone down here. Okay. Get in. Okay, first step done. Now, I guess we'll just lay out some rail all the way there. Get out of the way. Ugh. All right, let me break some of this other stuff we got. Along with half of the nether rack in the nether here. Give me this. This should, this should get us there, right? Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, you guys are done. You're trapped forever. Sorry. Okay. That's good enough. I gotta go get my phone in a second here, but we'll finish this off first. Okay. Go this way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it moving. Why are you going so slow? Come on. All right. Perfect. And into the portal. In. Okay. I think we've done it. Whew. Way more difficult than it should be. All right. We've got two guys here. Now, go to your new home. I know you want to. You love it. Look at how beautiful. Look at it. It's amazing. It's, it's great. Okay. All right. Stay there. Whoops. Don't don't get hurt. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Look at this. Look at this. We got one two guys inside. Now if only they would find each other. We can maybe help them out a little bit. Come on, boys. Get it on. We need some babies around here. I'll just, uh, I won't look. No? Nothing? Let me help you out here. Come on. Come on. No. Well, I'm going to go sleep. See if maybe they like it better in the daytime. Alright. Let's go see where they, uh, they go to when the sun's up. Hope they don't take off. I don't want them in here, seeing this is... A house, but they may. I might have to put some iron doors on that. Alright, this guy likes sheep. Hopefully he likes other villagers more than he likes sheep. Alright, yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy on the left. This guy's more attractive than a sheep, right? Well, 
I'm sure we'll get some breeding for next time. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for today. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for having patience with me. Um, I am doing my best here, but you know, I hate to keep saying it, but you know, I have had a couple problems with my health. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing my best and, uh, we'll see you next time.